If you select Preset Select, you will get the Preset Manager. The Preset Manager allows you to store a look from a layer. So for instance, if we went onto layer 1, we chose a clip from Media Select and we dragged up the level. We then chose an effect, dragged up the level and adjusted the parameters. We could even change the colour. And then we could record this as a preset. On the left hand side, we have a list of filters. So we can have an all, level, source, geometry, colour, FX1, FX2, notch, and beat bridge. So we can choose what is in our preset. If you select all, everything will be recorded, which means if you hash record and choose an empty slot, the preset will be saved there. You can then right click and give it a name. So this one will be LED purple. However, if we just wanted to save the purple aspect of this preset, we could turn off all of the filters, select just the color and hit record. Now you can see here that there is only one dot, which is the same color as the color. So we know which kind of preset it is that has been saved. So this one we can rename and just call it purple. Now, no matter which clip I have selected, it will always change to purple if I select that. So for instance, in one bank, we could have this one, we could rename to color presets. This one we could use as effects presets. So you can have quick and easy access to all of your favorite colors, effects, or a whole look of a layer. It's also possible to fade between presets. You can use the recorded fade info. So if we set a crossfade up here and use recorded fade info, when we record the preset, it will use the fade info recorded in the preset. Alternatively, if you haven't recorded a fade mode or a fade time, you can do it here. So we can choose a fade mode, crossfade. Now, if I go from this one, we can now crossfade into the red swirl and it'll nicely crossfade between the two. I'll do that again so you can see it on the output. If you wish to change the fade time, you can do so here.